Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Lady Survival and today we are doing a makeup tutorial makeup look using this Lashy Doodle eyeshadow palette that came in my Gothic Beauty Box which was my last YouTube video. So we have a lot of Halloween shades in this palette. I haven't tried any of them yet so we'll be testing them together. I don't really have a particular plan for what I'm gonna do other than I kind of have a general idea of probably doing orange uh, in the inner corner and black on the outer because uh, that's my usual go-to makeup look and we'll probably test out some of the sparkles. It is October 30th today so tomorrow is Halloween and I feel kind of late to be doing a kind of Halloween inspired look but if you're like me I would wear a Halloween inspired look any time of the year so I think it is perfectly fine. So I've got my coffee with me so if you see me sipping it don't mind me. Um, I'm kind of just starting my day even though it's like 1 p.m. right now. I slept in pretty late today and I'm also before I get started gonna put on some of this uh, thing from my gothic beauty box which is a orange clove autumn essential oil. It smells good and we we want the vibes today so we're gonna go for that. Oh, so nice. I also have my ring on from my beauty box and my necklace so we're just having a gothic beauty box kind of day today and I guess we will do some swatching on this arm. This is my most plain open spot on my arm. The whole palette swatched little bit of a look at it. Uh, like I was saying, some of the glitters look a little bit patchy and I think that that's just because they need to stick to something. But overall, I'm really, really happy with it and excited to try them on. My arm looks literally insane, so I'm gonna go wash it off uh, so I don't have to worry about getting it on my clothes or anything, which I already have, so I will be right back. We are all clean, ready to go, so let's get started on the makeup. I have to do like everything today. I haven't started with my face makeup or anything like that, so let's do it all, and then that way we can have a base for our eyeshadow and I'm so excited to be doing a look today. I'll also have all of the products that I use down below in the description so if you're wondering what I'm using just check that out but I am so excited to be doing another makeup tutorial today. I'm using my camera as my viewfinder so that's why I am just staring at myself but I'm really excited to be doing like a Halloween kind of inspired look because I can't believe that October is already almost over and I feel like I haven't really gotten to do anything really Halloween-y related and I mean doing makeup isn't that exciting but in spirit it kind of feels a little bit spooky Halloween season so I'm stoked. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and zoom through doing my face makeup because the main focus is the eyeshadow today. So I'm all done with my face makeup for the most part, but I'm going to be trying out this Dark Asteroid uh, concealer slash highlighter thing that I got in my beauty box, so I'm really, really excited. I think I'm going to use it as a highlighter because I'm not really sure how I'd feel about it as a concealer, but it does have like a little bit of a shimmer to it, so let me kind of show you. It's kind of got like the shimmery kind of shade to it, so I'm going to put it on my uh, cheekbone area and uh, probably, you know, just a few little spots down my nose and maybe on my cupid's bow and a few spots like that. Just for fun, I think I'm going to use this shade right here as kind of like a highlight thing. Maybe it'll kind of like stick to what I just put down just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. Alright, so I think we're ready to move on to the fun part and do the eyeshadows. So I think I'm going to start with this kind of light orange color and put it in the inner corner. And I'm just so excited to get into this and see how it looks. Um, it's definitely going to be just a process. We're going to see what we end up with whenever I do my eyeshadow. I never have like a specific plan in mind. I just kind of go for it and then just add things as I go. This is kind of like a yellowy orange color. I really really like it. It's going on really nicely too. 
Now that we have that down, I think I'm gonna go into this next orange one and just kind of like blend it into it and kind of, I think my plan is to kind of start with this, go into this and then this one and kind of like blend them together. I don't really know what we're gonna see. Okay, this one's like a very true orange color. That's what we have so far, and we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Just for fun, to make it pop a little more, I'm going to go into this lighter shade with my pinky, because uh, this one's kind of more of like a yellowy orange, and I just want to try to kind of make it pop. Yeah, that's definitely a lot more vibrant, just so you can really see kind of the separation of those two colors. And I'm literally just using the same brush. I usually do that when I do my makeup looks. If they're within the same realm of colors, I just kind of go for it. So next I'm gonna go into this darker orange color and kind of put it on like mostly the middle section of my eye. And then a little bit on the bottom too. Again, I'm going to go back into this yellow shade. I just want to make it pop just a little bit more. Every time when I do, um, oops, I just hit the black. Um, every time when I do my makeup, it's super like layering of colors and going back over to make things more intense until I'm happy with it. So here's what we have so far. I hope that you guys can see how that's looking. Now I'm very excited. This is probably gonna be my favorite part. I'm gonna go into this sparkly orange and put it in the middle of my eye. I'm so excited because these glitters are so like thick, like they're very, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Okay, so they definitely have kind of like a sticky-ish consistency, which is nice. So it's like an actual glitter. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, can you see that? Oh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to keep adding a little more, kind of pulling it up a bit. Then we'll just do the same to the other eye as well. I smell like the, the little wrist roller uh, essential oil. It's so nice. It's like as if my eyeshadow smells good, kind of, but it's just my wrist. So here's what it looks like so far. I really, really love it. I think I'm also going to... I'm kind of debating going into one of these white colors and kind of putting that in my inner corner as well. I'm going to use my other clean pinky for that. Which one do I want to try? I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go for this guy right here. Just kind of giving it a few little kind of rainbow flecks. Okay, can you guys see that? Just some little rainbow pieces. So nice! I don't know how this is even going to look, but I'm going to try to go into this yellow sparkle and put it kind of on the bottom here just because, just for fun, so we can kind of try them all. Try to be careful so I don't like get it into my eye, but I probably will. So that's what that looks like. And I did it a little bit messy because I don't really care. I think it's cool to have uh, just random glitter everywhere. I'm going to keep packing on some of this orange one just to make it a little bit more uh, intense on the lid here. It's kind of like the central focus part of the eyeshadow. Now for fun, I'm going to dip into this silvery color and kind of just get it not just in the inner corner, but kind of in this area here, just again for just a few kind of flecks of glitter going on. I'm just crazy for the glitter right now. All right, so I think I'm done with the orange and now we're gonna do the black, which I'm gonna do my usual kind of like V-shaped uh, black eyeshadow on the outside. And then I'll probably be packing on some of this dark, it kind of looks like a navy blue eyeshadow or maybe even this one. This one's like a glitter and then this one looks more like just like a shimmery shadow. But I'm gonna be starting with the matte black and creating like a V-shape to start. 
And I literally just dipped into this super lightly and it's already very pigmented. I kind of like to do something like that to start my little V shape. And I then just kind of connect it into the color here and then just sort of start to fill it in a little tiny bit more. It's really, really pigmented. It's doing a really, really good job. I would say this is better than even my Jeffree Star black eyeshadow that I have, so I'm very impressed with that. Okay, so I'm kind of taking the black and dragging it about into like the halfway point area. I'm just going to dip in a little bit more and we'll drag it onto the bottom as well. Now let's repeat it on this other eye here too. So again, just starting with our outer V. I love this brush. I've shown this before. It's like on an angle and it works really, really well for creating like those outer V shapes. This is like my go-to black eyeshadow brush. say we're pretty much done with the black now and I'm gonna go back into this middle orange shade and I'm just gonna kind of uh, clean it up and kind of reconnect it to that black like any color that we lost just kind of re-intensifying it and re-blending it in uh, looks like I accidentally kind of put some black into it I didn't mean to uh, little mistakes it's all good And then we're just going to re-intensify the bottom as well. I'm kind of pulling it down a little bit further now also, so that there's even more of a pop of that orange color. But next, I think I'm going to go into this shimmery black shade and just kind of press it in to uh, like where the orange and the black meet. This is so pretty. I love this color so much. Just kind of helping to really darken that black and give a little bit of a shimmer. I use a little bit of that too on the brush so I can get it kind of down here too. I have a tiny, tiny bit of fallout, so I'm just going to kind of try to brush that away. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go into this uh, matte white color. I might use a little bit of the shimmer as well and put it onto my brow bone, but I'm gonna start with just that matte white color. So here's a more up close look of the eyeshadow so far. I think now we're ready to go into the eyeliner phase. So I'm going to be using the Lashy Doodle eyeliner that I got, which is double sided. So it has our normal felt tip eyeliner and then also our spiderweb stamp, which I will definitely be using, but we're going to start with our winged eyeliner. And this is also my first time testing this eyeliner out other than when I swatched it on my hand the other day too. So we're going to start with the wings. So I'm basically just starting at my waterline corner area and I'm just starting with kind of drawing a line and I'm kind of just following the eyeshadow okay so we got that little line so far and then see how like the very tip is all the way out here I start pulling it back from like a little bit more over here if that makes sense like so and then just filling it in. There we go. Now I'm just kind of patting it over top of that glitter. Kind of like a pat slash drag motion. And making my way down to that inner corner area. I think the best way to show you this for my inner corner 
I just kind of let the eyeliner do all the work. Like I kind of just place it and let it kind of make the shape for me because it's already pointed. Okay, can we see this? Going down kind of further than I usually would. And then let's just make our little connection here. All right, so that's what we got. So I went a little bit longer than I usually do. I think I really, really like that. It's so nice having a fresh eyeliner because my other one was kind of drying out a little bit. I think I might kind of make this a little longer. There is the eyeliner and now we just have to replicate it on the other eye, which is always the hardest part, but let's go for it. So same thing, kind of starting at my waterline area and starting with our baseline, like so, and then just pulling it back this way and filling it in. And hopefully they are relatively the same. Sometimes they're not, but you usually can't really tell. I feel like my eyeliner is so dramatic, like my eyeliner and eyeshadow is so, whoops, I kind of went up a little bit high there. It's all good. It's a little hard to do it over the glitter, which is why I'm doing that packing motion instead. Thicken it up a little bit over here. So we're at that inner corner area, so again, I'm letting the eyeliner do the work for me, like so, and then kind of connecting it here. I might have made this one a little bit more thick, a little bit more thick, I think. I would say for the most part, that is uh, pretty good, as close as I think I can get it. Let me just... Just a few little touches here, I'm trying to make this a lot more orange right here. I kind of got like a little bit of black eyeshadow going into it and I don't like it. And then on the bottom, so I'm just kind of going back in with my orange colors and just trying to really make them super pop out here. say that we are nearly getting there. I'm going to be using our little spider web stamp now and I think I'm just going to put the other day when I used it I put one here and also here but I think I'm just going to do it over here today. So let's get close and <laughs> little spider web it's so cute it goes on so perfectly. Okay and then right here cute oh my gosh I'm like debating putting another one, but I think we'll just roll with just that maybe. I'm not sure. I felt like super extra having it down there, but I think that we'll just go with this today. Maybe instead what I'll do, I'll take the eyeliner and do like a little vine if I can. I'm just going to do some messy stuff. This looks better once I put my mascara on, but I just kind of like to have these little like liney things, kind of like fake uh, mascara almost, but just like super messy because I literally don't care. Now I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to be using my Lash Princess mascara. I don't have one from the Gothic Beauty Box, so we're going to use this. It's so awesome to know though that this whole eye look has pretty much just been through the Gothic Beauty Box, uh, like Lashy Doodle products to do it, so that's very, very cool. Here's a look at the makeup so far now that we have some mascara on, and I think I might put on some false eyelashes too, but they're in my bathroom, so let me go grab them. I got my false eyelashes from the bathroom, and just so you know, these are the ones that I'm currently using. They were just random ones that I picked up at Walmart, but I think that I like them. I honestly don't even really wear false eyelashes that often. They just annoy me to put on and take off. Uh, so usually I don't do this step, but since I'm doing a actual makeup tutorial, why not go for it? Letting that first one dry a little bit. I sometimes like to bend them a bit too. I'm 
right there is the first eyelash on and you can see uh, it's definitely pretty extra compared to my one without second eyelash Let me just top it with a little bit of mascara. Okay, and I think final things, I'm gonna put a little bit more glitter onto the bottom here. I'm gonna use the brush. Maybe the brush isn't working. Let me go in with my finger. I think we are fully finished with the eyes and now is the part where I have to do my lipstick and I don't know what I want to put on because I usually go for purple lipstick but I don't know if that will look good. I'm still kind of tempted to do it anyways. I'm almost wondering about putting like black on the outside and purple on the inside but I think I'm just going to start with purple and see how I feel about it. I feel like purple and orange look good together so let's just go with that. I think I like it. We're gonna take out our little clips and see the final look. I'm just so comfortable and so used to my purple, so we're gonna roll with it. Sometimes when I add like the black to the purple, I just don't feel like myself anymore, so I don't wanna like ruin what I got going on here. I'm really, really bad at showing my makeup, but let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I love the orange. The orange is just everything. Uh, I feel like a Halloween babe now. What do you guys think? I guess that that is the whole look. Let me add on my little demon horns. I just love these things. I think they're just so cool and they just make everything just better <laughs> immediately. I am gonna go now. Make sure to give me a follow on my Instagram at Lady Survival Wow and follow Gothic Beauty Mag and check out Zyntastic.com. I'll put all the details in there if you're interested in getting uh, the same beauty box that I got. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope that you have a lovely day and a happy Halloween and I can't believe October is over, but for all of you like me, spooky season is all year round, so it's all good. <laughs> Alrighty, bye guys!